This your boy Big Creek. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. What's happening, bro, bro? You now rocking with the chaotic vibes. Yeah. Of DJ C Chaos. <laughs> On IndioRadio.com. It's DJ C Chaos Chaotic Vibes Podcast. I got the big homie. Hey man, you like you, you really like a legend out here, you no lie. Nah, you know, nah, I'm an OG, don't get me man. Yeah, I'm OG, same man. Different, man. Young it's Guapo, the same Young difference. Guapo, man. I've been doing Jose this Guapo shit. Jose Guapo in this motherfucker, day, man. man. What's up, fool? What's up? I've been doing this shit since Rick the Kid Day, that's man. That's what I'm saying though. That like and that and that's to me what makes this shit legendary. Because yeah. at the end of the day, like I'm not from here. I tell engineer all the Where time. Where you from? I'm from New York. Okay. So I missed that the rich kids era. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I oh wasn't my really. Oh God, that was an epidemic. I already know though. He was he was definitely here for it. It was you know an epidemic. Saying? But I, I I understand that looking back and you know um plug one of my my good friends so we we kind of chop it up all the time. But there's not a party that I can go to like I do a lot of college parties. Mm-hmm. I do a lot of you know twenty five and up parties. There's not mm-hmm. a party I can go to that I can't. Play a rich kid song and that shit go. Nah, we had an epidemic. Like no cap, like we was on some, like we was like a a boy band. That's what they call it. We was a group, but we was like a boy band. You know, y'all niggas was, was like rock stars out yeah, this motherfucker like, for real. We real deal had like pandemonium experiences to where we had to run out of malls, yeah. run out of skating rings, run out of shows. Like they were chasing cars. Rich kid ep- epidemic. I, that's that shit. I, that's some shit I never forget. How, how how does it feel to come from that, like, knowing that? Like, you, like, real live, like, rock star moments, real live, like, that, like, that was, and that was early. Like, it was yeah. early in life. Yeah, I wouldn't even, it was, it was to the point where I had to miss days in school because we would have a show yeah. at a college on a Wednesday night mm-hmm. or a Thursday night. Mm-hmm. You know, if when I come back from the show, it's like it's like school. I might get back in town at eight, nine in the morning. School yeah. already started. Yeah, and so you tired? Yeah, I, tired. That don't matter. But you yeah. know, it was just like it was just crazy. Like there was a whole epidemic. Like and I loved the epidemic, and I still love it. all my rich kid brothers. Like yeah. we all Everybody still, still talk. Yeah, we all still talk. Okay. Like it was never no bad things and no misunderstanding that broke the group up. It was just like you know niggas had to grow up and. You know what I mean? Make their own decisions. So it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't nothing in the group, like, because we know how groups work. Man, it wasn't nothing. Like, you, that's why you see, like, when we do the little reunions or when we, yeah. do, when do, when we do come out to yeah. do you see everybody show up because yeah. it was never nothing. Like, okay. it was never no problems in the group. Of course, you know, like, man, with testosterone, we yeah. all to fight in yeah. the studio and stuff like that, but it never got outside the studio when we were kids. So, okay. yeah, it was never nothing. I love all my rich yeah, I think, brothers. Yeah, I think y'all come back and do something. Um, for a check, we ready to do it. They got the B2K, Melinda. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, what's up? They ready to put a check on. We ready to do it. Yeah, that would be ill, though. I ain't going to sure. lie. For sure. Motherfucking no Jose Guapo and this motherfucker with me. Rich kids, man. Like, you got you got lengthy shit going on to be so young. Like, like people wait till they 40 and 50 to say shit like that. Like, man, I've been in the game 10 plus years. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you at this, you young. Yeah. And you, what are we, what are we 10? Ten in at least I know we t- at least ten in. Yeah, we ten in. Like how like how do you stay how do you stay consistent in it? Cause you still got fifty damn near fifty fucking mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Like you still get a song, you still popping, you still relevant. So how do you keep that up? Man, the from, hardest thing to do is to stay relevant. Most definitely, especially with the attention span these days. Uh, yeah, like the hardest thing to do is to stay relevant. So just. I just work, bro, and like I'm really from Atlanta. Like I ain't like I got Zone One through Six tatted on me, even though I'm from Zone Three. Yeah, I got Zone One through Six tatted on me, and to go back to the, even the rich kid thing, it was me on the song of my partner and them naming all them hoods yeah. because I could actually go to those hoods. Yeah, even though I'm from Zone Three, I can go anywhere in Atlanta. So like people know me for real. So like I'm always be relevant. So so. Just because, like I said, I'm not from here. A lot of the fans are not from here. Explain to people what Zone Three is and one through shit. Like, tell tell them where you from so I'm they from, understand. I'm I, I was originally born like on the west side, okay. Zone One, Bankhead Court. Most definitely. My my mama, my, my mama and her mother stayed on. It was two, it's the A side and B side of Bankhead Court. Mm-hmm. My mama and her mama stayed on the A side. And my daddy and his, his mom stayed on the B side. Mm. That's how they met. So, okay. but I ain't do no dirt. Like I was over up for like up to the age of three. So I don't count yeah. that as being one yeah, of them. My grandma, 
she moved to Pittsburgh, and that's why I started doing like all my like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Little Getting street into stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. fist Plenty fights, and little yeah. stuff like that. Not necessarily no trapping and then like yeah. that. Yeah, just little fist fights. Yeah. Going to the swimming pool, okay. walking to the stove, being outside, little bad ass kid. Yeah. Then, you know, Summer Hill, we went and invaded Summer Hill. I was in Summer Hill. I had, uh, I had Bloody in here. What was that, Monday? I had Bloody in here Monday, and Bloody said Summer Hill is like the Harlem of Atlanta. Is for that, sure. Is that? Is that? For sure. Okay. And that's and that ain't even for right now. Like yeah. that's for OG. Like my like my daddy age. Like yeah. they always been like you know just that, you know Harlem yeah. type. Yeah. That's they from thing. Home, so so, when he yeah. said it, I was like, okay, I got yeah, like, I got to go Paul Lay out there. It's the Harlem. Like yeah, it's like you feel it give you that Harlem vibe. Okay. So, that what we were doing. I went to Summer Hill. Then, you know, I got family. My brothers, them, they, they from Four Seas in Summerville, so I was always over there. I just was in all the hoods, all the hoods. in, in Pittsburgh. I mean, yeah. not, I mean, Zone 3. I yeah. was in um, John Brown South, yeah. John Brown North, Cleveland Avenue, Lakewood. I went to middle school, Price Middle School. That's yeah. right in Carver Home. Yeah. I went to Carver High School. That's right in yeah. Zone 3. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On University. Yeah. I'm, pri- I'm not proud, but it's on University. Yeah. So, it's like... I'm just from Zone Three. Zone Three is like the inner city. Like if you come here as a tourist and you don't know where Zone Three is, like when you buy the Braves Stadium, that's Zone Three. Metropolitan Lost, that's Zone Three. Okay. Metropolitan it used to be Stewart Avenue, mm-hmm. that's Zone Three. Like the, the Western area, Lakewood Amphitheater, where they be having that's zone um, three. birthday bag, where they used to have birthday yeah. bags, they be doing the Street 94 Pride. Yeah. That's Zone Three. Okay, you know what I'm saying so. All oh, that's Zone Three. All right. You know the zones ain't just broken down by like the police district, yeah. the jurisdiction. So that's a lot what of people didn't know that. I didn't know that at first either. Yeah, that's yeah. how that's where the zones that, come in. It. So, so you watched Atlanta change. You you've watched Atlanta grow. You've watched Atlanta musically change, physically, and you know yeah. like what's going on all the way from um the John and the East Side boy to them franchise boy. Yeah. Like you, 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 you watched this shit go yeah, through I a see, couple errors. I, you know I, I remember the pool palace. Like I remember <laughs> like clubs, pool palace. What was the name of that club on Gr- on Gresham? Um, right there, as soon as you get out Gresham, man, it used to be. Uh, what is this shit? It used to be popping back in the day. La Libra. Libra, yeah, yeah, La Libra. yeah, like all these clubs. I've been around since D Day Central Station. Yeah, like, I, 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 I like okay. I'm not again. I'm not from here, so I didn't catch the Central Station era. Oh my god! But they they have like that legendary is, stories. Speak on that motherfucker. Speak on that motherfucker. Just a little man, bit, just so man. the people know. The station be so used to be so lit, man. <laughs> I'm to my talk about talk about what time period this was too. Like what what uh, years were these? Where it's like in their prime. days. Uh-huh. When I dropped Guapanese, I think I had Guapanese out and everything. Yeah, after that, it was around Guapanese day when I was going to the station. Yeah, that was something I had in rotation at the time, Guapanese. So, yeah. I mean, like, I can't really remember the years yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. That's right off the bat, but... Man, Central Station, man. Like, if you if you from Atlanta and you ain't never been to the station, like you're, you're not from Atlanta. You a poop put. <laughs> that nigga said a poop put. Yeah, I'm just being real, like, cause what's going is, down in Central Station? Why did you have to be at Central Station? Cause Central Station is like the spot where it's it's after hour, but it's not. It ain't like an after hour on some like hole in the wall after hour. Yeah. It's a it's it's a big ass club. Yeah. And, Everybody from in the city, Clayton County, River Dunga for away from the Carroll County East Side, they in now. They in now. Okay. Bad bitches hood, that little thick hood <laughs> shit that we like to see yeah. with the eyebrows drawn on. Man, they in now. You know what I'm saying? They in now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it, was just, it was like Central Station was like our um we're gonna put it like this. Central Station was like if you ever seen the movie Paid in Full, yeah. and you remember like when Rico was showing like um, the scene when he was doing the Dougie yeah. Henry girl from the back, yeah. and then when they were like when uh, Ace, Ace had on the Louis Vuitton long jacket on the phone, yeah. that was Central Station was like. Okay. On the, that's how the inside of the club would be, okay. even though how they used to be outside. Yeah. That's how the inside Niggas of that club would be. Niggas was just in there on some lit. Niggas shit. just uh, lit. Like you gotta come here fly. You know, don't come here half stepping. Don't pull up if you ain't got no paper the paper right. Mm-hmm. If you pull up game ain't right. Ain't no we want no Ubers and none of that. Oh yeah, so you had to pull up and you know what I'm saying? Shit. You gotta pull up. How you gotta pull up? Cause <laughs> like 
Then the valet is literally right here by the door. Yeah. So you pull up, you gotta pull up proper, jump out, and before folks see it. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking Central Station. Central Station, Station definitely was the epidemic, man. Yeah. If you ain't never been to the station and you from Atlanta, I don't know what to say about you. You man. don't know what's going on out here. Yeah, you lost in the sauce. <laughs> that nigga's crazy. So, like I said, you've, you've transcended time in, in ways that we don't really like. The only people we could really say do shit like that is like a tip who, you know, done been here 10, mm-hmm. 20 years. Salute, shout out to my big bro, you Tip. He like, fought. That's all I love with him. It's, um, it's crazy to see, but at the same time, like I said, to be so young and do it and still got more time, like you could do another 10. Yeah. Easily. It's because it's I was like, that go back to me saying like I'm really from Atlanta, so it was like... Me, me, me being around the artists and like, like when they took, even when they took pond of them to Joe, Joe already knew me. Yeah. That's, that's like, that's really like, I ain't saying that's the main reason why he got yeah. on the song. The song was hot, so yeah. he got on the song. Oh, but definitely. when they let him know, like, Lil June in the group, because that's my name for anything. Yeah. My name was June, not even before it was Junie. Yeah. So, like, I was just known. Mm-hmm. So, it was just like, I was just known already, like. Not for no super dope dealing and then like yeah. that. Just known Just, for young fly nigga. Yeah. Gonna eat by this paper. He getting money. He gonna stay fresh. He gonna keep a bad pretty girl. Yeah. I was just known already. So it was like. So were y'all um y'all was already signed? Yeah, were y'all ever signed to Grand Hustle? Was that the name? Ah, uh, we actually didn't sign to Grand Hustle. That's what made me actually do my departure from the group. Uh huh. Cause you know we we was young and we weren't at an age to so what we can sign the paperwork ourselves. Yeah. So it was left in all our parents' name. I mean yeah. parents. It was left upon yeah. our parents to do it. And like um, you know probably one or two members out the group, they parents. You know they they kind of had some. They like they weren't with it. Uh. Yeah. They weren't feeling it. So it was like we ain't never do the deal. And then when that happened, we had Grand Hustle. Was just the first stuff. We had four, five major labels calling us when we got off that birthday bad stage. Yeah. That that first time when they brought us out, when Young LA and Dro brought us out and yeah. we end the show. Yeah. You know you're on fire when you end yeah. the show. So okay. like they brought us out to end the show. Like Jason G did, like cause that was my man, he would let me know like like soon as we got out of stage it was and our I mean executives, whatever, calling for yeah. labels, like we want them, we want them, we want them. So Grand Hustle was on the first step. We had five deals on the table. Yeah. We just Grand Hustle just wanted us to get with sign to them yeah. and then we're gonna go, you know yeah. what I'm saying, go. So that they kinda messed up like the deals and all that. So like um that what made me, you know, departure. Yeah. It went on no like I got a problem with them, but it's just like I can't put my life and my career and my way of how I'm finna be making money in the rock game in yeah. nobody else's hands. Nobody, yeah. that it wasn't sense. that personal. Yeah. It's just like it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't one of the mother's group members. It was their parents. Yeah. And I ain't never had no personal relationship with nobody's parent but Caleb and Baby Charles. Yeah. I ain't know nobody else's parents yeah. out of the group. So was it was the group uh, organically made or was it kinda like put together? Uh I I, I just finessed my way in the group. <laughs> Cause all them went to Doug. Uh huh. All them went to Douglas High School okay. on the west side. Yeah. I went to schools in Zone Three. Yeah. But you know it come it it came for like we would we would have dude that's known for being the freshest at our school. Mm-hmm. You know when it's the football game, home comes and all that. Yeah. We was the dude known for yeah. pulling up, Pushing dressing up. nice yeah. and all that. So it was like it was kind of. It was organically put together. Mm-hmm. That's how. That's what we gonna say. It was organically yeah. put together, like, cause they had already had a couple songs. Yeah. They had. They ain't had what's up yet, but they had a couple songs already before I even met everybody. I met. Yeah. We all met at a dub game, and we just started kicking it. And I'm keep it all one hundred. I was rocking with Baby Charles. Yeah. Like Baby Charles is all like family. Yeah. Like we got Ken that's Ken. So yeah. he family. I was rocking with him, but when they introduced me to Rashad and they told me that the T.I. cousin, I wasn't even rapping. I never had a rap yeah. song at all, yeah. but I just knew I was fly and I got looks. So I was yeah. like, they like the T.I. cousin. Me coming from where I come from, the bottom of the dirt, for real. Yeah. I'm like, the T.I. cousin. Then back in the day when it was like, 
not you know right now somebody can say somebody they yeah. cousin and you're like oh yeah, yeah all yeah. right but cool. this this yeah. back in the day when the ti cousin yeah that he, shit meant something yeah so yeah. me yeah, I just went with my game, my knowledge. I'm like, hey man, I'm finna start hanging with these folk, cause yeah. this Ti, cause yeah. it, we ain't gotta do nothing, make something that sound like something. Yeah, and if he like it, it's gonna go. It, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Okay. Like I swear to God, I ain't put no cap on it. Like I, I told my 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 brothers and everything in my plan. I was like, man, I finna get with these boys, run around town with these boys. Yeah. These boy took cousin, then they had to, then they did the what's up song. I posted run to the studio the night they did that, but I ain't really knowing that well, yeah. so I ain't go to the studio. Yeah. But yeah, I was just like, man, it took cousin. I like we got a I got a better shot here than just be trying to go yeah. build something up on my own. On my own. Yeah. So and that what happened. Like we made part of them, performed that blue flame, K T, which is a good good friend of T I. Yeah. He seen us and he was like, man, y'all ready to go? What were the uh, what were the first moment y'all felt like it was it was that that was it like y'all was gonna go? Was uh, the when they the called us, when they called us and they told us to take the video down off of YouTube because we were smoking weed and we were, um yeah we were smoking weed mm -hmm. and this back when you know weed is yeah. kind of legal yeah. almost now yeah. even in a lot of states yeah. this back when like weed wasn't legal you were and we was young for, we were still uh, in yeah, high yeah, school okay, so yeah, yeah, was and they wanted though. to keep a clean look yeah. so when I and I, I when I knew like that they calling saying the video got to come down yeah. Because it had went viral, and this is when things weren't even going viral. Like, yeah. this one, though, no, yeah, this shit. was early, just yeah. like early internet shit. Some somebody out, the, out of the squad just knew how to put like a video that we made off a of phone on yeah. YouTube, yeah. and that's what happened. They put that video on YouTube, and I swear on Facebook, and it just went crazy. And the next day, like, literally the same day that we put the video, we put the video up that night. And the next morning, it was just everywhere, and they just was calling like, "Hey, y'all gotta get that video down. Yeah. Ooh, 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 y'all, we that we gonna, it's, we need y'all clean the look." When they doing all that, you know, yeah. you got some. You got some. So that's that's how we knew we had some with my partner. Them. Okay, so so we gonna fast forward to when you say because deals wasn't being made and you didn't want people controlling, you left, uh -huh. and then what? Grand Hustle told me I can do it on my own. Yeah, like. Like they were like, you got what it so takes to be a to solo buy artist. The group. Nah, 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 nah. nah. The group. That's what we used to call schoolboy. Yeah, we used to call him Bobby Brown. <laughs> we used to call him Bobby because he was a singer and he used to always do wild shit. Like <laughs> while all of the group members on stage, yeah, he might just jump off stage and start running away. <laughs> Like run, like running a certain way, yeah. and he know all the girls and everybody finna chase him. Yeah. So we used to call him by Brown, but now it went on no by Brown. It was just on some like I'm a man, I'm growing up. Like yeah. I gotta make smart decisions. Most definitely. So Grand Hustle, they just told me like you can do it on your own. You can do it by yourself. You got yeah. what it takes. Yeah. You got the you got the flow. You got the style. You got the look, and you really like from Atlanta. Yeah. So I would I was over there with Grand Hustle for a minute, rocking with Dro, you know, going on a roll and things. But I seen that like not that they weren't really showing me no love. It just was like I wasn't signed to him so I wasn't getting that access that I actually needed. Like yeah. the studio time yeah, yeah. or if Tip got a video shoot, I might don't get the call yeah. or you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So I kinda I kinda wasn't feeling it. I kind of wasn't feeling that, so I just spurred away from that. Yeah. I spurred away from that, and that's how um that's how I ended up linking with Travis Porter, because when I spurred away from that, I was still selling, like, a little weed and stuff, and mm -hmm. I ended up, like, pulling up my sister. One of my sisters was actually, like, talking to Strap. Yeah. Shout out to Strap. Yeah, shout, Strap. That, that, shout out yeah. my brother Strap. He, yeah. he, he, he the trillist. Yeah. Yeah, and I got some for him, for <laughs> sure. But look, though, like, yeah, she was talking to Tr Strout, and she was like, bro, I'm finna get ready to pull up on Strout. Ooh, me, I'm like, man, I'm, yeah. I got weed. I'm finna this this when they you. was already Travis Porter, or this is pre-Travis Porter? Um, this is probably Go Shorty Go, Okay. Travis Porter. Oh, so they was in the game. Yeah, they was, yeah. yeah. So, I, yeah, I, I linked up with them, went to the studio, stirred some weed. He was the, my man Three was the. Shout out to three. Yeah, he was there. And um he took a liking to me just off of both of us from zone three. Oh, that's when you met him? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, okay. I ain't, I, I met him. Okay. I'm thinking y'all went together or some shit. Nah, I yeah. met him like, like he was he was working with them. Yeah. He was working with them. He had already had an occupation. They were paying him and everything. Yeah. He was working with them. Like, and that's why I commend him, to, not to get off the subject, but I commend him because he like stopped taking the pay from them. And we weren't getting paid for nothing, but yeah. he just came straight in on just bit bro management. Yeah. And was rocking with me. So okay. it was like that why it was that why it was, it was gonna forever be love for life. Okay. But yeah, so that's I, um, ish, back issue. to the story. I pulled up on Charlie Porter trying to sell him some weed. They already had some weed, but they knew who I was just off because you know, they used to be trying to make like the little few with the rich kids versus yeah. them because they from the east side. Yeah. And they used to think we from the west side. I ain't from the west side, but yeah. Caleb and you know, a couple yeah. of them yeah. like, was from the west side. So they used to try to make like the little, not beef, but yeah. just, you know, compare yeah. us and stuff yeah. like that. So we had already knew each other and we was doing a lot of shows together. Yeah. Rich kid, Trap Portal, doing a lot of shows together. So yeah, I went out there trying to serve, serve some weed. And um, they were like, they, you know what I mean? They kick it. They let me kick it. I was kicking it in the little studio. FKI first was there. Okay. And um, you know me, I can't really be in no studio. This one, I was more hungry than ever. I can't be in no studio. And not getting that boo. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know how to do that. I'd yeah. rather just go sit somewhere else, yeah. trap house or something. Yeah, if I'm at the studio, right. let's get it. So yeah. I'm like, we sitting around. They got a flight in that day, so they really just in. They cool it mode. They got a show back in, go pick up. I'm like, man, let's do one. Or would you knock out? Don't tell me that how Guapanese came Nah, out. nah, nah, oh, nah, nah. That's how um Sideways came about, which was FKI first first beat he ever made. That was the first beat he ever made. First beat he ever made. That's crazy. Sideways. Jose Guapo Feet and Trevor Port. That was FKI first first beat he ever made. Mm -hmm. Like, they ain't even I don't know if they knew he was a producer or not he was an engineer like okay. intern so i don't even know if they knew he was a producer oh, he slid one in there yeah so i'm like man make the beat you know me i'm yeah. like make the beat let's do it i need lighter bro i like, made the beat let's do it so make yeah. a long story short we did that after that it was love it was just love because i i they ain't have to do that yeah i was i was solo yeah, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't i ain't i ain't had nothing going on musically yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't getting no studio time. Nigga wasn't recording me or nothing like that. I ain't had nothing going on musically for real. I had yeah. busted out. Yeah. You know, a little hood song. But I ain't had nothing going on musically. We did that song. And then, once again, like I said, everybody over there just took a liking into me, man. So, we locked in. We locked in. And then, that's just being cool with them, rocking with them like bros, kicking at their cribs, all that. Yeah. And, then, and I mean, but that's that, again. That's like even like even to say that is is in Atlanta that might sound kind of sort. I don't even think that can be kind of sort of because they're also Atlanta legends. Like y'all are sure. both, you know what I'm saying? Like Atlanta Giants. There's for no, sure. there's no. If y'all was to do a show today, it'd pack out for sure. You I know? think like that. Like everybody keep on like how you just said about the tour. Like that, what we might do, it might be the Travis Porter and Rick Kid reunion. That tour. shit would be like, hard. Type shit. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, let me get back to the story. So okay. yeah, so we it just I started working with them. Everybody over there, um, Street is X and everything. They took a liking into me. I, um, Travis Porter rocking with me. Um, and then we just started. I just started recording at their studio. They started giving me access to record at their studio. Yeah. On some little bro type shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, cause I was holding them down on whatever level they needed me to hold them down on. Like if I gotta bring them weed, whatever. Just I was just holding them down whatever way I can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not as far as giving them no money or nothing. Yeah. They were straight, but yeah. just whatever way I can play yeah. my part, I was yeah. doing it, and they they respected that. So, make a long story short, it was like. They wanted me to have a record. It was time for a record. I had ended up doing kicking shit with first. And then it was like that started buzzing. Yeah. So now it's like, oh, I ain't just a dude that's just coming around selling weed and being yeah. at the studio. Now I got a record. I got a little record that doing a little song. He yeah. wasn't doing too much, but it was yeah. doing a little song. Yeah. And then they now they on me like Charlie. They they were just on me like it's hit time. It's time for a hit. Yeah. And then, believe it or not, Southside actually sent the Guapanese beat to Travis Porter. Yeah. Like, he ain't sent me that beat. I ain't even know Southside at the time. Uh-huh. Shout out to Southside. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Shout out to Southside and the whole 808 Mafia. 
he sent that beat to them, and they gave me that, and they gave me a Southside beat, like for them to do that, yeah. like at the, especially at that when time. they yeah. Then Ali, like, cause I can remember like yesterday, Ali off top, like he was saying when he first heard it, he hit me on it. Yeah, not this, but Charlie, we was already speaking Guapanese. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that was our little thing that we were doing around yeah. the studio. Yeah. We were doing it at the show, around a little female, the whole yeah. shit. Yeah. We speaking Guapanese. So, Charlie was like, you need to make that a song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all need to make that a song. So, when they heard that beat, Ali was like, he, he heard me on that beat. Not necessarily he heard Guapanese on that yeah. beat. He just like, man, like, I, you, I hear Guap flow. on this. Yeah. So, they called him to the studio. They were like, they got a beat for the Guapanese song. Yeah. I ain't had nothing written. I ain't had nothing planned. I just, you know, I just was, we were speaking Guapanese so much, it was. It was organic. Yeah, enough. it was just so organic. So it was like, I went in the, I went in the booth and we did it. And that way, it, it popped from there. And Guapanese was a big record for sure. Yeah, yeah. I still play that to this day. They still Especially love it. Like, I just did a show in Athens and they were like, they, it was like five or six girls. Standing like by my sprinter, they were like, "Why you ain't do Guapani? <laughs> Why you ain't perform Guapani?" Do that? Do that get? Do that get? Do that get you agitated when people ask you to play the old shit? Nah. You know some artists be like, "Man, I'm tired." Like I just had. Uh, I'm gonna perform what they like, yeah. man. Yeah, that's what they pay their money for. They pay their money to see what they like. Like I ain't the type that'll be like, "Oh, what song y'all wanna?" Yeah, 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 perform? yeah. Like, but if I hear some yeah. in the crowd and yeah. I know. My DJ or whoever DJ at that time got it, I drop it and perform it. Yeah. So yeah, like Wapani was that was my power. That was my power. It was like a second win for you. Yeah, yeah. That was my first like actual comeback from Wap from um Pana them. Yeah. So it was like it, it was on and popping after that. It's crazy to have a second win. Like I said, like you second, third, and fourth win, and you still like I'm still young. I can still go crazy. Yeah, because I'm in the streets. I'm, I was really in the streets, and I'm in these hood, different hoods, and I'm picking yeah. up all these different lingos, yeah. and I ain't doing them and taking it to the booth. Yeah. So it was like, that's how, that what really kept me relevant, because I'm, I'm known for a lingo type of guy, song. So yeah. all my lingo was up to date, and they know, like, I wasn't buying and then like that. So yeah. it was like, it was so easy. So, so again, fast forward again, because, like, I, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I, I, Thought I seen something last year that said you was signed with Cash Money. Nah, 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 nah. We ain't never do the deal with Cash Money. Uh huh. Shot the baby, shot the Slim. Most definitely. Shot to everybody over there at Cash Money, Rich Gang. Shot the Wheezy, Young Money. But we ain't never do the deal because I don't know, man. You know, it was just so many people. Yeah. You know the rumors. Politics. I want to worry about the rumors. Yeah. I was just because you know you get what you negotiate. Most definitely. So I want to worry about the rumors, but we couldn't never get the deal done just because what what they end up trying to do. I wasn't really necessarily with it at the time. But you fast forward a little bit too far. You okay. s you skip the QC and everything. That's, I was I was about to get to that too because I was about to say I seen I seen the QC too as well. Yeah, like, um, but well, what happened was after Guapanese, I was young, you know, I was kind of crazy, so <laughs> I had the, the money ever fuck you up? Having money young fuck you up? As far as what level? It just any On any level. Like, you know, it's hard to, like, get a lot of money young and a lot, that's a lot of money. But I was getting money before I was rapping. But, like, but that's money and attention now. Yeah, so like, but like, but it's like, I was doing this thing that we call the paper. Yeah. L, we call it the L or the paper. Anybody from Zone 3, they know what it is. I yeah. ain't got to explain it. Okay. So I was doing that and I was already like, like spring break when we out of school, like I would be making almost $800 that whole spring break. Yeah. Type. So I was already kind of accustomed to some money, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So when I started getting rap money, it was just more. Yeah. But it like ain't not, ain't never really get to my head and then like that. Like I ain't never, like ain't nobody, gonna, I ain't nobody haven't said it and they never, I never will get nobody a chance to say it, like all oh, the money changed or nothing yeah, like yeah. that. Nah, cause I always was dressing nice before rap. Mm -hmm. I won best dress in uh, middle school yeah. and I won best dress in nine, in high school when we had to wear uniforms. Yeah. So it was like I was already kind of. Fam 
popular. I wasn't yeah. famous, but I was, yeah. I was already popular in the city. Okay. I told you I was going to Central Station when I was up, when I wasn't old enough to get in there. Yeah. I'm in there standing on pool table, rolling up some of the fattest swish sweets you ever seen. Yeah. So like, I was already popular, and I already kind of felt that hood. That like that hood fame. Yeah. So I was already feeling that. So now nah, the money ain't never messed me up. The money ain't never messed me up. It was just like I was. I just made a lot of dumb decisions being young. You know, y'all learn from your mistakes. I like. Okay. I made a lot of mistakes, man. You know, so. You know what I mean? I just and that's how I fucked the rock game came about. Being a young, just young, just crazy at the time. Yeah. Fuck the rock game come about. Boom. And that when they were back, lady. Yeah. It was back lit. That yeah. what got QC to even start looking at me. Because mm -hmm. P knew me from the streets. He knew my dad from the streets. But he ain't really knew too much about my music career and nothing like that. He, I mean, I'm pretty sure he heard the Guapanese and yeah. all that. And I'm pretty sure he knew about Punna. But he ain't know nothing about me being a rapper and yeah. But yeah, that's what got P attention. And then Guwap. Yeah. Because, you know, Guwap actually wanted me to sign to him too mm -hmm. before he went to jail. Yeah. Before he went to jail, like me, Thug, Pee Wee, Scooter, I mean, all of Bank Road Fresh, all of us over there at the Brit Factory the same day. He was trying to get all us 25000 the same day. Yeah. Like, he wanted everybody. Yeah. He wanted all of us. So, that's what for the Rock Gang drove him to me. And then, like, P, he just really stepped on up. Just pulled up on me one day on some, like... With the envelope, not even out, not not even like on like I'm signing you. Yeah. Just the envelope, like fire rats in the light, man. Like stay out the street, man. Get out the street, man. Yeah. Like do so. Nah, he was just like not necessarily do so, cause he was finna get ready to start what he got going on. Yeah. He give me fire rats on just like stay out the street, stay in the studio. Yeah. So when that happened, that's how I get. Locked in with QC, and I had never signed no paperwork with QC. Mm -hmm. That was nobody don't know. Like that's how solid of a dude I am. Like I gave P my word, he gave me his word, and that's what it was. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, that's how the whole QC thing. So what y'all just was just rocking? Y'all was just making music and chilling. Y'all was management. Like what y'all? Yeah, it on? was. I mean, I did the solid foundation management thing. Mm -hmm. That's what I did do. But it was just like on QC is family. Okay. You know what I mean? I ain't, I mean I wasn't signed, but you, you couldn't tell. I had to change it like everybody else. Yeah. I was getting the treatment just like everybody else. I had yeah. all of the assets that everybody else had. Yeah. So like I'm, I was QC. Yeah. That's crazy though because it's like like niggas wouldn't know if, unless they really paid attention mm -hmm. that you like because we we went from grand hustle to missing major deals to QC to cash money like you had street execs too. street execs you touch so much shit like you really you really you, you need that jacket two chains to drop with all the fucking labels on it yeah in you need that shit home yeah, cause I like you that. really touched that. all that shit chains what's happening you, you know see what this get me one man <laughs>